Okay, our next problem solving assignment and the final of the eight is work backwards. The Stolen Pigeon Bad Bargle snuck into Homer's pigeon loft one day. He took half of the pigeon. He decided that wasn't bad enough, so he took one more and left. Later, Homer opened the door of the loft in order to exercise his prized possession. Half of the remaining flock flew out, leaving six pigeons inside the pen. How many pigeons did Homer have before Bad Bargle did his dirty deed? As always, we go through the problem and find the important pieces of information. Well, first of all, we don't know how many pigeons he started with, but we do know that Bad Bargle took half of the pigeons. As we continued to read, we found out that he took one more. And then later in our story, Homer opened the door and half of the remaining flock flew out. You will notice, though, in these types of problems, we often find a remaining amount or an answer. And here, we know that there are six pigeons left. So let's look at how we set this up. We don't know what we started with, and so our goal is to find that number. So we're going to identify that using a question mark. And now we're going to write out our math problem. So, if Bad Bargle took half of the pigeons, how do we show that mathematically? You've probably already figured that out, but we show that by doing divided by 2. That would break a number in half. We could also do it by multiplying by a half, but it, I find it to be a little bit easier to divide by 2. We then come across Bad Bargle taking one more. How do we show that mathematically? Sure, we subtract 1. And then again, we read another clue about half of the flock flying away. So we show that by dividing by 2. And as I mentioned earlier, often we're given an answer. And here we know that there are six pigeons left. So we finish our problem by saying equals 6. Now, I mentioned that we're doing work backwards. So I'm going to show you exactly the steps I want you to follow as you're working on these types of problems. We start with the answer and we work backwards. And when we work backwards, the mathematical operation that we did getting to the answer, we then do it the opposite. So in our first step, if I divided by 2 on the way to the answer, when I work backwards, I need to multiply by 2. 6 times 2 is 12. And I would like you to record each answer so you don't lose track and forget. Our next arrow leads us to subtracting 1. When we work backwards, we do the opposite, so we're going to add 1. 12 plus 1 gives me 13. We work backwards to our final step. On the way there, I divided by 2, so I do its opposite, which is multiply by 2. 13 times 2 gives me 26. So we believe there were 26 pigeons in the loft at the beginning. Before you assume that is the correct answer, I do want you to go through and check. So if there were 26 pigeons, let's read through and determine each step and the math that would happen. So assuming we had 26 pigeons and Bad Bargle took half of them, we would divide that by 2 and then there should be 13 pigeons left in the pen. But then Bad Bargle took one more, so we subtract one. Now there's 12 pigeons left in the pen. When Homer came and opened the door, remember that half of the flock flew out. So we would divide that number by two. And that tells us that there are six pigeons left. And if you recall, the problem did mention that there are six pigeons left. So did we do our working backwards steps correctly? Yes, we did. So 26 was the correct answer. So let's go ahead and summarize that in a box, as I always mention. So the answer is 26 pigeons, because the question asked, how many pigeons did Homer have before Bad Bargle did his dirty deed? And as I always say, Please put a box around your answer so I can find it easily.